very good evening my dear friends in this session we will discuss about the different modes of loans and advances which are given by the bankers to their customers actually the capital requirements of the customers of the bank are met by the bankers by way of advances and loans and there would be in multifarious systems like the cash credit facility overdrafts then long term loans short term loans and purchasing and discounting of bills with the national policy of rendering loans by the central government the banks also grant different loans of different types and some of the loans would be written off at the instance of the central government or the state governments and the loans could be as i told you long term and medium term and short term basis also with the repayment schedule fixed there on and uh, there are other loans like the bridge loans composite loans and consumption loans and all these loans are subject to the guidelines given by the reserve bank of india and the the government policy presently is that the bank should provide loans to customers such kind of loans for medical educational and consumer purposes also apart from granting loans for only productive purposes that is for reproduction the loans and advances which are normally lent by the bankers are classified into secured and unsecured loans and advances section 5 clause n of the banking regulation act contains an necessary provision which says that quote a secured loan or advance means a loan or advance made on the security of assets the market value which is not at the at any time less than the amount of such loan or advance and unsecured loan or advance means a loan or advance not so secured the assets which are taken as security could be tangible assets tangible means goods and commodities land and building gold silver and such kind of things and then the securities also could be personal securities like negotiable instruments tangible securities and collateral and like one the guarantee also can be obtained for the repayment of loans from third parties and in this respect the law of guarantee as stated under the provisions of the indian contract act 1972 apply applies that is the provisions of guarantee of the indian contract act apply in this regard so my dear friends this is a normally a short question that can be given with regard to this particular classification of loans and advances with this background my dear friends we conclude our discussion on lending business now we will come to the recovery i will detail in detail deal with this aspect of recovery of debts by the banks and what are the legislations there on especially for recovery there are certain legislations in fact uh, passed by the parliament at the instance of the government of india and what are they like the secure in fact securitization act and then the drt act and so on and so forth all these things we will discuss in our next session thank you very much dear friends and then good night bye bye